Right now, this morning, we are looking at some thunderstorms off the east coast and a few showers even down towards the Florida Keys. But this is the lightning you're seeing off towards the uh, southeast, and we're picking it up on our tower cam here some 140 miles away uh, from where our camera sits here in the Cape. All the green you're seeing here is false return. Overnight rain lifted to the north, and uh, this rainfall is going to continue. Look what happened yesterday. Almost two inches out of Page Field. Record on that date, just about two and a half, set back in 2013. And our deficits, although we're still over a foot behind for the year, we're trending in the right direction. For the month of September now, just over three inches behind. And same for Punta Gorda. And today, uh, we're going to have an 80% chance of additional wet weather. Now, today, we're going to see some sunshine early. Push our temperatures up in the low 90s, and as early as lunchtime, we can see a few showers firing there uh, near the Lee Islands. And then as we go throughout the afternoon, at 3 o'clock, we'll see the showers start to go up. This is the initial development of those bigger afternoon thunderstorms. And not only are they going to be with us here through 5, 6 o'clock, but after sunset, some of the rain is going to linger along the coastline. Uh, so even after we lose that daytime heating, there's enough instability in the atmosphere uh, that we're going to see these showers and thunderstorms continue. Our temperatures this morning along the coast, mid 70s with some low 70s inland and as we look at our dew point values they're fairly high they're in the low to mid 70s factor that all in today and it's going to feel closer towards the triple digits even though our actual air temperature will be right around 91 degrees now that reading of 91 is actually two above our average which is now below 90 we are trending towards some cooler weather as we are now officially in fall fall officially began on saturday record on this date 95 going back to 1972 all right so what's happening we got this trough at the surface and this is going to continue to uh, provide us with some very high rain chances. I want to flip over to the water vapor loop, but you can see that little spin. What happens with upper level lows like this? It pulls moisture in on the east side. So we have a trough at the surface, upper level low just off to the west, and all of this is being watched by the National Hurricane Center as well. And as this trough drifts off towards the west away from Florida, it has a 10% chance of developing right now. Regardless, this is what you need to know for the week. Look at our rain chances 90% Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and even on Friday. Friday, we will still see a rain chance around 80%. In the tropics over the weekend, we had Felipe. This one is going to continue to move uh, north of the Lesser Antilles and start to curve to the north as a tropical storm there. Uh, by the time we get towards the weekend, starts to make that turn towards Bermuda. One other area the National Hurricane Center is watching, and this one is behind that storm near the Cabo Verde Islands, and this has a 80% chance of developing here over the next seven days. So we're still in that very active month here, watching several areas in the tropics. Now, as far as your Ingram Marine forecast sees foot or less there. Inland water is a light chop with the water temperature at 86 degrees. So for today, we're going to go up to 91 degrees. Storms likely, and that rain chance is high, sitting right there at 80%. Showers and thunderstorms will slowly die down. We'll see some gradual clearing, 75. And tell you what, it's going to be stormy here. We're going to keep that rain chance really high. Temperatures get a little cooler and closer to our average by the time we get towards the weekend.